What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. So finally OnePlus have started rolling out third close beta based on Android 12 for OnePlus 7 series. So close beta have been rolling out for Oxygen OS 12 and even Color OS 12. But here in this video, we have installed Color OS 12.1 close beta 3 on a OnePlus 7 Pro and let's find it out how stable it is to be used as daily driver. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So guys here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro, first let me show you the software information by going to about section. So here you can see Android version is Android 12, ColorOS version is 12.1. If you take a look at the security patch, we do get 5th April 2022 security patch and the version is H.14. So this is ColorOS 12.1 version and I think similar version is rolled out for Oxygen OS 12 too. Also guys, I won't recommend any one of you to flash ColorOS 12 or Oxygen OS 12 closed beta files on your device because if you downgrade your device, you'll mess up with the auto rotation stuff and few other sensors too. So right now with the closed beta 3 also, OnePlus haven't fixed this issue. And if you want to downgrade, we have already made a video on fixing auto rotation issues. If you have good knowledge about Android, make sure to check out that video. Using that video, you can fix the auto rotation issue and other sensors issues. Now talking about the benchmark results on this particular build of ColorOS 12. So here my OnePlus 7 Pro with single core have scored 753 and with multi core device have scored 2745. With Android 2 benchmark application, our device have scored 5,78,669. We also ran CPU throttling test wherein max CPU throttled up to 87%. And guys, before talking about the change logs, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 82% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, so let me clear one thing. This build is quite stable and in past we have seen with other OnePlus smartphones who went under closed beta testing. After the third close beta, most of the devices got open beta update. So we are expecting Oxygen OS 12.1 and Color OS 12.1 in the upcoming weeks. But I'll keep you guys updated, soon we get any update on the same thing. Overall, it's a quite stable build, till now I did not find any kind of issues, jitters or lags while using the device. The build seems to be promising to be used as daily driver, but as said, I won't recommend you guys to install it on your device. So talking about the change logs, with the first change log, OnePlus says they have optimized the charging speed. Though I personally did not find any kind of improvements in the charging speed, I did charging test on this device, which is my OnePlus 7 Pro. So here you can see, I started charging the device when the battery percentage was 12 and the time was 8.57. Till 10.6, battery was charged 86% and battery fully charged at 1044. So my OnePlus 7 Pro took approximate 1 hour and 52 minutes to completely charge from 12% to 100%. So I personally did not notice any kind of improvements in the charging speed though the charging speed was similar on previous closed beta update also. And with the next change log OnePlus says they have optimized the desktop fluency while unlocking the device. Some users might have reported this issue but after this update, I don't find any kind of issues with the desktop or the animation stuff. I don't see any lags while unlocking the device. Everything seems to be good enough. After that, OnePlus have also balanced the sound between the top speaker and the bottom speaker because OnePlus 7 Pro have this stereo speaker stuff. So here is the sound quality which you can take a look at. And now I feel this balancing of sound between both these speakers is way better compared to the previous builds. Another fix is related to display issues wherein some users were not able to use the natural mode under screen color mode. They were able to change the modes but there was no difference in the screen. But right now here you can see if we switch between different screen modes or you can say color modes, we do see some changes. And the last fix is related to camera wherein users had issues with the camera application which used to crash sometime. And another thing which I noticed with the camera application, switching between different modes do take bit extra time as you can see here. So if I now switch to photos mode, the screen takes a bit extra time to switch to that lens or you can say to that particular mode. It's not a major deal but I hope OnePlus fixes these issues in the upcoming beta builds or if they are releasing any closed beta update. So guys these were the changes what OnePlus have done with the latest closed beta update for OnePlus 7 series. If you guys wish to install 
make sure first you install the first close beta and later update your device to third close beta but still if you guys have any kind of questions related to installation or any other stuff do let me know in the comment section below so guys this was a quick look on the latest update for oneplus 7 series as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you guys like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day